to the city of Valdosta cases. This is the seventh um, item on our agenda, BA 2014-02, located on 806 State Street Road, a request to rezone R10 to CC. Staff, would you please present? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Madam Chairman. This is a request by Lee Watson to rezone just under three-fourths of an acre of property from R10 to CC. Property is located at 806 Bay Tree, as you say, um, and it's, which is at the corner of Bay Tree and Miramar. Um, on the screen in your packet, you see the zoning pattern of the surrounding area. Uh, the future development map shows this area as Neighborhood Activity Center, which does support CC zoning when it's along a major road, such as Bay Tree. Um, and in the aerial, um, you see sort of a dense you know, tree pattern and some mixed uses. Um, the telling feature in your packet is the zoning map. Uh, Bay Tree Road between Jerry Jones and BSU um, used to be all residential many, many years ago. And for the past couple decades plus, it has been slowly transitioning to something other than residential. Uh, Bay Tree is a four lane road, um, has a little bit of traffic, and we've been seeing numerous zoning cases over the years. The subject property is a corner lot, it is currently vacant. Um, it is one of the very few remaining residentially zoned properties along Bay Tree. Um, the owner, the applicant, is simply requesting commercial zoning on this property, which matches the commercial zoning on properties on basically three sides um, to market it for commercial purposes. In your packet is a draft uh, conceptual site plan, and I want to underscore the word conceptual. Uh, my understanding from the applicant is that he is not proposing to build this retail facility. Uh, but it's proposing to market the property for someone else to build something. And the site plan's main purpose is to demonstrate how a retail facility might fit on the property. Um, like we talked about at the work session, um, this layout represents the maximum that could fit on here um, using underground detention. There would be a few tweaks that would be needed for it to com uh, comply with all of the code <coughs> requirements. Um, but in general, it could hold up to about an 8,000 square foot retail building, uh, probably slightly less than that, depending on some of these tweaks that they might do. Um, the zoning pattern tells it all. It, it's very consistent with the land use and zoning patterns. It's certainly compliant with the future development map land use policy. Um, and staff has found the request consistent with our comprehensive plan and our standards for exercise of zoning power. And we're recommending approval. Thank you. Are there any questions for the staff on the commission? Just, it's just it's important to to indicate that the site plan that's being that's part of this package is not it's being reviewed. This is just a zone a rezoning case. Correct. We it's are a not reviewing the site plan. The Correct. Site plan. If this were a conditional use, we would be tying something to the site plan. This is just a straightforward rezoning mm -hmm. from one major category residential to commercial. Uh, site plan that's shown is simply for demonstration purposes. Any other questions for staff? Mm -hmm. All right. Is there being none? Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this application? Please come to the podium. State your name, Andrew. My name is Bill Kent. I've been in engineering, 2314 North Patterson Street, and. Uh, that is correct. This site plan that's presented is for conceptual purposes. It, uh, it's an attempt to show that a commercial development of up to 8,000 square feet could fit on the property. Yes, there would have to be some tweaks. All development standards would have to be met, including stormwater management, access, landscaping, <coughs> et cetera, et cetera. So I'm here to answer. Uh, Mr. Watson couldn't be here today, so I'll be glad to answer any technical questions about it's not really part of the <laughs> <laughs> or any other what-if scenarios. <laughs> okay, thank you. Any questions for the speaker from the commission? I appreciate his willingness to drag this out of the swamp. He could possibly be drug out, but I don't have a question. <laughs> All right, thank you. Do we have any other person in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this application? Hearing none, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition of this application? Okay. Now, discussion. We're moving on to the discussion from the commission. Do we have any discussion from the commission? Okay. I will entertain a motion. Madam Chairman. Second. 
I can make a motion that we approve this request to zone this from R10 residential to community commercial, be consistent with the surrounding area and with the comprehensive plan. Mm -hmm. We have a um, motion by Commissioner Raker. Do I have a second? I second by Commissioner Gladwin. All those in favor of the motion, indicate by raising your hand. Okay, we have a motion to be approved unanimously. And we can move on from our cases and to 